Hi, I'm Jamie, Fort Vancouver Library's Experiential Learning Librarian. Today's maker project is a scrappy garden. For today's project, you're going to need some core supplies. I'm going to use a white piece of paper today, but you're also welcome to use just a scrap piece of cardboard. I'm going to use a bunch of my scrap pieces of cardboard. So I've used this cardboard in several other projects, and I'm, before I throw away these scraps, I'm going to try and make one last thing out of them. Just glue stick, a pair of scissors probably. I'm actually just gonna try and use the colors that are already existing on the boxes and make flowers with those. I'm gonna start with the stems. And so I pulled all the green out of my little stash of scrap cardboard here. And honestly, I don't want all of these to be just uniform, uh, just skinny rectangles, which you're welcome to do if that's what you're into, you can cut all these pieces into uniform or the same size rectangles, but I'm going to leave them just as they are. And I'm going to just line them up along the base of my paper. And I'm not going to glue anything down yet because I might want to rearrange it a little bit. Never can tell with me what I'm going to end up doing. They don't even all have to be green. You can mix up your colors. You can do whatever you want. You can put really tall ones and really short ones. And we don't want them all to be the same size, so maybe this one and this one are one, and it makes a super long one. It's a pretty good start. Next, I'm going to pick out some of the colored pieces I have. Ooh, a bright orange flower, that'll be good. For the next step, I picked out some of my colored pieces of cardboard that I like. Um, I kind of think I'm going to make this dude's face into its own flower, which might be weird, but that's okay. Um, I have some of these really small pieces, but the fun thing about these is if they all have these jagged kind of points on them, and they can become their own flower. So if you put the points together... You make kind of this cool abstract flower. So it's still got a flower shape, but it's not like any flower you would really recognize, but that's okay. It's still really cool. Yeah, that's a pretty cool one. So now I'm just going to cut the rest of these into shapes. You can make really big curvy ones. You can make circles. You can make all kinds of things. Just try out different shapes.
here's my scrappy garden. It's all laid out the way I want it to, so the next step will be to use my glue stick and glue it all down. The other thing you can do with your scraps is cut out some of these letters and make your own saying for the top, which I think is the last thing I'm going to do for this project. making. Well, I hope to see you at the library soon. Until then, the library's website has a lot of great resources, www.fbrl.org. See you next time!